Now to get the total profit in the first 10 years, what we need to do is essentially add up these terms when R is 1.09. Add up these terms all the way up to the 10th year. Okay. Now you should know that for a geometric sequence like this, the sum of a geometric sequence, the sum of the first n terms is given by Sn equals the first term a multiplied by r to the power n minus 1, all divided by r minus 1. Or if you were to times top and bottom here by negative 1, you get another version for the sum of the first n terms. Sn equals a times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. Now it doesn't matter which one of these versions for Sn that you use because they'll just give you exactly the same answer. But people tend to use or prefer this one when the common ratio is more than one and this one when the common ratio is less than one. But you can experiment. Try both if you like and you'll see you should get the same answer. So in this particular problem, since the common ratio is 1.09, it's greater than 1, I'm going to use this formula here. So if we're to find the total profit then, let's just write it down here, the total profit okay, in the first 10 years, let's put that the first 10 years, always believe in giving some kind of intro, it's going to be S. 10. And so according to the formula then, S10 is going to be the first term, which is going to be 50,000, okay, multiplied by the common ratio, which we now know is 1.09, to the power n, so that would be 10, take away 1, and that's all divided by the common ratio minus 1, 1.09 minus 1. And if you do that on your calculator, you should find that you get 759646.48 and so on. Okay, 759,646 pounds essentially. Okay, but we're asked to give this to the nearest 10,000. So giving it to the nearest 10,000 is going to be 760,000 pounds. We'll just put here to the nearest £10,000. OK? And that just completes that. Well, that brings us then to the end now of this question. So I hope you've been able to follow all my methods.